Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I am Umar, a final year medical student here in Nigeria and I make videos on medicine and lifestyle. So this is a requested video from one of my followers through Facebook and he asked me the story of how I got admitted into medical school here in Nigeria. So I felt it worth making a video on and I decided to make this video on it. So if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and also share with your colleagues. Also, if you have any request, don't hesitate to put it in the comment box below so that I will attend to it. So the story of how I got admitted into medical school here in Nigeria is incomplete without starting from my secondary school days where the whole struggle started and back in 2011 i can recall i was in jss3 all i knew was i wanted to go to a science-based secondary school and i don't know whether i wanted to become a doctor or engineer or anybody that is related to science all i know is i wanted to go to a science secondary school so in 2011-2012 I was in SS1 and 2012-2013 I was in SS2. During all this period I never vividly decided whether I wanted to become a medical doctor or an engineer. But I began to realize that I am better in biology than in calculations like physics and mathematics. Until my SS3 all my dream was to go to Ahmadu Bella University, ABU in Zaria and during the period in my SS3 I, that is in 2014 it was time to register for Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination that is the UTME regulated by JAM and I was I just delayed registering it because I wanted to register for university of my degree because I realized I will gain admission easier in university of my degree than in ABU area. So I talked to my family about my decision of going to university of my degree and they said no, there is insecurity. Even I know to my degree, some people have been kidnapped, some have been killed and this and that, issues. I was thinking that they will allow me to apply for university of my degree if I delay registering for JAM. So I delay until it is like lately to be registered and I can just saying that I will apply for university of my degree and nobody listened to me, nobody tried to show some sign of support and I had no money. So nobody even tried to help me before I realized the registration for UTME 2014 was closed and I have no institution to apply for. So finally, midway during 2014, it was time for SSC. Then I sat for all the NECO and WAEG, which I scaled all and I have the SSC result but nowhere to go. So I was advised by a family friend who is a doctor of veterinary medicine to apply for any form of pre-degree program either in Gwembe State University here or in AB Uzaria. So in AB Uzaria, he gave me two options, whether to apply for IJMB or to apply for SBRS, that is School of Basic and Remedial Studies. And if it is here in Gwembe, there is no IJMB. So the only option for me in Gwembe is to apply for SBRS. So I began to think and also some of my colleagues advised me to apply for Abuakata Pao Balewa University, Bauchi for SBRS and I applied for both the two, that is for Abuakata Pao Balewa University, Bauchi, SBRS where I was intending if I go there I will study petroleum engineering and also here in Gwembe State University I applied for SBRS also where I am intending to study medicine. And coincidentally, both the two institutions gave me admission and I was thinking, where will I go for remedial studies? And the reason why I did not even apply for Zaria is that what will happen in a situation where I fail to get the requirements for admission into Ahmed Bell University Zaria, then I have to come back to Gwembe State as somebody that 
went to Zaria. I mean, not as a graduate, but as I don't know what to even call myself. So I then choose to stay at home since it is remedial and pursue my SBRS in Gwembe State University. So when I was in SBRS here in Gwembe, I became familiar with the environment, with the curriculum, and many things about the school, and even make some friends from my seniors, that is, those that are already in the faculty. And the best thing that I got from the SBRS is that I prepared myself for the JAM 2015. And about how I registered for the JAM, I still can remember. It was one beautiful Friday morning of 31st of October 2014 when I prepared myself and decided to go and register for the JAM in State Ministry of Education, that is the JAM office. I went there, registered for the jam, and then I have to come back. On my way of coming back home, for instance, I discovered that there was a bomb blast in a motor park located in our neighborhood. So I was like, what the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This is something that made me waste my whole year. Even though it is not waste, I went to the SBRS, but I really spent holy because some of my colleagues are already in university and I was thinking Gwembe is safe as my family said so I will study in Gwembe but fortunately after I spent my money I registered for jam I just realized that the same day that I registered there is a bomb blast in our neighborhood so I don't know what to even say I began to talk to my family members you see this is what you are telling me and this is already what is happening right now in our neighborhood and the pressure does not end here because I wrote my jam on 12th of March 2015 yes 12th of March 2015 so there is coincidence all those candidates that wrote their exams on that very day it is nationwide that there was I don't know whether it is a cyber problem whether it is something else but the results were held because in 2015 it is the first time that CBT, that is computer based test for JAM, was generalized for the whole country. So I don't know how it happened. Our results were delayed. Those that did it before us and after us are gaining the results. Our results was not ready. There is anxiety because some of the students that did it after us are already failing. And even those before us, the result is not encouraging. So the pressure, the anxiety, and the confusion all increased until the results were released. And when the results were released, coincidentally, I got good scores, which I was comfortable that with my remedials, with the UTME, I am thinking I was given admission by Golden State University where I applied. And still, if I can remember, it is either on the 3rd or on the 5th, probably 3rd of November 2015, that the Wembe State University released their merit admission list. And uh, luckily, I got admitted into Wembe State University and I transit my life from life as an aspirant <laughs> to a medical student. So that is how the whole journey started. And if you think this journey is strenuous, this journey is something that is very hard and difficult, I think you would like to see how the journey through medical school is because actually this is just something that is like the least thing that happened because it is the anxiety, just and the stress, the least. But the journey through medical school is multiple of what really happened during application. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and I hope you enjoy the video and also benefit from it. If you have any question about university admission process and everything here in Nigeria, you can contact me in the comment box below so that I will try to find out and link you to the appropriate source. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye-bye. See you.